my whole life I grew up playing basketball. I just always found it very fun and interesting to me. Um, nobody else in my family really played basketball. My brother did for a little, a little bit, a few years, but I was really the only one that continued with it throughout high school. Um, I don't know. I just have always found it very fun and keeps me active and love being with everybody in the team. Um, my senior season didn't start out as as great as I wanted to. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of you know I didn't play very much, um, but you know I was still always there for my teammates. First one standing up when they did something good. Um, I don't know. It just it kind of sucked being a senior and all and not really playing that much and. You know, I went in and talked to my coach, and I asked him, I said, what do I got to do to play more? And he told me what I had to do, and I did it. finally got my first varsity start. I played pretty much the entire game. Um, we were doing pretty well. We were, I mean, we were losing, but we were, we were still playing very, very hard and showed a lot of grit. Um, but, and then third quarter came around and I got a steal. I was going to get the layup. Adam had the ball on a fast break, heading towards the hoop. And in the blink of an eye, he was on the ground, clutching his knee in agony and pain. The next thing I know, I was on the floor, and all I remember was just in so much pain, screaming, yelling. I was on the bench at the time, and I was looking at him devastated, knowing obviously what just happened couldn't have been good. So at that, that moment, I kind of kept Adam in my heart and wanted to play for him for the rest of the games. So when it happened, I pretty much knew what it was. Uh, our trainers said, you know, um, it could be an ACL, it could be just nothing, but um, I kind of had a feeling in my head, my heart, that I knew that it was an ACL. And I didn't know if it would be torn or not. I didn't know if it would be partially torn. Uh, when I went to the doctor and knew that it was an ACL, he said, I will have to get surgery, um, and after surgery, it's the full recovery is nine to ten months. And when I heard that, I knew I couldn't do anything the rest of the school year. My baseball career will be over um, most of the summer. I won't be able to do any physical activity that will put a lot of strain on my knee. And so that really hit me and hurt me, really. Um, but, you know, I just gotta battle through it. And I know I have great friends, great family who will be with me through it all, um, help me, take care of me whenever I need them. And um, I don't know, I'm just, I, I wouldn't say I'm thankful for that happening, but I just know that everything, everything that I've done is all for the, all for the best and um, that it needs to be done and so I'm willing to do it. The St. Paul Dunk Ball Association, it's definitely been one to remember. Um, it's impacted my life, it's just been something that I can always go to if I ever feel down. Um, I don't know, I love the sport. Um, and there's no greater feeling than getting that ball and going to dunk on someone. It's just, it's just a surreal feeling. It's a great feeling. A few years ago, in one of the early tournaments, I uh, made a move on him. I thought I got by. I thought I had an easy layup. And as I was going up, just a flash came in front of me. He got there. He packed that against the board. And then I just, it was all just so fast. I fell to the ground. All I remember is hearing a roar, just a roar over me. And that's what I think of when I hear the name Adam Quested. The hustle, the dedication, the love of the game. 
my fan favorite was obviously Q. This Just the attitude he had towards the team, the way he helped everyone. It always got me fired up from the stands whenever I saw him come on the court. For Adam, it was always more than a game, bigger than a game. The way he carried himself on and off the court was truly an inspiration to everyone in the league. Um, he was a role model, still is, from the actions he does off the court. For not just me, but everyone in the league, and especially the younger kids, the ones who aspire to be one of us one day. So recently, I announced my retirement from the St. Paul Dunk Ball League. Um, you know, obviously it's gonna suck not being able to be out there on the court with them. But, you know, I love I love watching them. I'll always be there watching them. Um, I don't know, I just, I just love the association. It's a great association. Um, love the people in it. It's just, it's just a great, great thing to have, a great place to be. So, I don't know, who knows? Maybe I'll be back sometime in the future. <laughs>